there anyone out there? Hello? Is there anyone out there? Hello? Is there anyone there? Roger that, I copy you. This is 119 EDC, 119 Echo Delta Charlie. This is Monica. I, I... What's going on in your area? Uh, we're out in the woods. Some people try getting into our house and so we're just in the woods now. Where are you located at? Um, I'm not exactly sure where we are. We're in New England. Are you anywhere near here? Wow, you're far away. I'm in Centralia, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's not anywhere near here at all. Ever since all of this has went down, all of the TV stations, internet, everything's been out. News is only word of mouth. We believe that the aliens, or whatever they are, must have set off an EMP. Luckily, my buddy had some electronics in a Faraday cage, too. Uh, including this radio that I'm on and I was afraid that even though this radio was protected in a in a cage I was afraid that uh, the repeaters wouldn't be working so I'm stumped how we can reach each other so far away but it's been crazy here too we're I'm stuck here in central Pennsylvania I'm not even at home I'm stuck at a buddy's house we were on a camping trip when all of this started making the news and we at least made it to his house before all the cars and the electronics and everything else shut down but we're hearing that the aliens targeted the government buildings and military bases major bridges and and, and stuff like that but uh, it's been getting the people have been getting crazy you know, honestly after the initial attacks from the aliens people are now more of the danger than what the aliens are. And let me tell you about what happened just yesterday. Okay guys, what I'm doing here is I'm milling down some wheat into flour. This is a simple recipe that only takes just a couple of ingredients. First, we're gonna mill down about four and a half cups of wheat into flour. Four cups of the flour will be for the bread, and the remaining flour will be to sprinkle on the workspace with. And now since we've got the flour made, I'm going to mix in one quarter teaspoon of dry active yeast and one teaspoon of salt into the flour and mix it. Now I'm going to mix in one and three quarters cup of warm water and I'm gonna mix it until the dough is no longer sticking to the sides of the mixing bowl. Also, while we still have plenty of the store-bought yeast left over, pretty soon I'm going to start making our own yeast. And because this is a slow rising recipe where I don't have to knead the bread, I'm going to cover it with a towel and I'm going to stick it in a dark place for about 12 hours to let it rise. Okay, well this bread sits up here for the next 12 hours. Here is some bread that I made last night so it's ready to cook today. And now I'm just going to work it just enough to form it into a loaf. And let's go ahead and cook it. Now, about a half hour ago, I put our Dutch oven in the fire pit so it could preheat before putting the dough in. Now I'm just going to put the dough into the oven and put some hot coals on top of the lid and let it cook. All right, guys, we're gonna let this cook for about 45 minutes. Uh, we'll check it then. We'll know when it's done because it'll have a hollow sound when we, uh, when we tap on it. Hey, brother, how's the seedlings coming along for the garden? I was just getting ready to start some. You guys wanna come in and help? I'll show you what we got going on. Excellent. Now, luckily, we had already prepared and put back quite a bit of food for long-term storage. But by doing the gardening, this will add variety to the food stores we've already have and make them last longer. And with what we grow, this will just add more vitamins and nutrition for us in the food stores we already have. But certain vegetables need a longer growing season than our area can provide. We just don't have a long enough summer for some vegetables like tomatoes and bell peppers. Now we're using heirloom seeds, which means the seeds from this harvest can be replanted next year and the year after, things you can't do with hybrid seeds. And this will allow us to keep producing more seeds and more vegetables year after year, or until things get back to normal, if they ever do. So we're going to give these vegetables an artificially longer growing season by starting them indoors in small pots. Once it warms up, we can get them outside and transplanted. They'll already have a good head start. We don't have to worry about the cold nights. 
First we'll just add dirt to the pots from the garden. These are pots that I just salvaged from friends and family who got tomato plants and planned on throwing them away anyway. I just saved them to reuse them for my own seedlings. And now we'll add two seeds to each pot, just in case one seed doesn't germinate and start to grow. And now we'll just place them next to the window where they'll get plenty of sunlight. And then we'll add a little water and stand back and watch them grow. And once they do, we'll get them transplanted out into the garden. Excellent guys, while you guys are finishing up here, while the bread is cooking, I'm gonna go out to the shed, I'm gonna get a couple buckets for that second water purifier that we need. Good, go ahead. Get your hands up, get your hands up, come on. I want all your food, I can smell your food from here, come on. Come on, get over here, get over there, get over there, get back, get back. Man, I can smell you cooking something. I want it, and I want everything you've got in the house, or I'm going to put one right in your head. Do you understand me? Do you get me? Hey, man, I don't want any problems, man. I don't want any problems. I'll give you whatever you want. Wait, give it to me now. Come on, let's go. Hey, man, you know, he went out there by himself. I think I'm going to go check on him. Yeah, do that. I'll get this finished up, and I'll see you out there in a few. All right, buddy, be right back. All right. Hey, hey, drop it! Dude, all I want is some food. If you don't give me your food, I'm gonna blow your friend's- <laughs> What's that sound? Where's it coming from? I don't know, man, but it sounds like it's all around us. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.